What is up, Cog Squad? We starting seeds today and selling some geese. Good morning, Peachy. Where you breakfast, girl? Where you go? Back up. Back up. Back up. Oh my goodness. Let's go do some work. What's up, everybody? Let's go eat. Who wants some breakfast? Who wants some breakfast? <laughs> so we are selling four geese today. <laughs> so we gotta catch them. So my plan is to lure them in here. The goat pen. Of course, I know we moved the males over there with the girls. So we're gonna get rid of four Chinese and keep the rest. Just got too many. I like them boots though. You like my pants rolled up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's some big legged pants. <laughs> What's up, little ducks? They doing all right? Yep. Good deal. We need to feed the quail. Feed the quail. All right, we gotta go feed the goats. All right, the goats. Thomas, you look quite spectacular this morning, my main man. Yes, you do, buddy. What's up, Pink? What's up, Pink? You're not Pink, you Tucker. What's up, Tucker? <laughs> Got two black cats, it's hard to tell them apart. All right, guys. We got another day of sunshine, it looks like. Don't knock it out of my hand. <laughs> the geese are not too happy. <laughs> mm. All right. Anybody lay any eggs in there? Really? Is it? All right. Another. That's what I'm talking about. And then there's girl lighting. Get your baby's water. What's up, Sally? JP? Yeah. You got peaches and Thomas over there, don't you? Well, I took a picture of them. <laughs> With Mary Carl, peaches and Thomas, but you... <laughs> peaches. Peaches is an old camera haul. Y'all want to see my... Y'all want to see my happy four geese are gone dance? <laughs> Guess what? Thomas is happy, too. Kathy and Stan said they take all of them we don't want. Really? Yep. Yes. That's my other dance. <laughs> yeah, they said they got a lake and they'll turn them loose. Thomas, you happy the geese are gone? <laughs> yeah, he is. I know Peaches is. Peaches doesn't like They them. aggravated the stew out of Peaches. Peaches, did they aggravate you, girl? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, they aggravate you. She's a talker. Listen, not quite listen, y'all, listen. Oh, phone ring. All right, Foxy. So we have four geese, that's it? Five. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Who's five? Pringles. There's one over there. Six, seven. Oh, there's more there? Where do you see them? Oh, Lord. 
thought we done got down to like four or five. We still got seven and eight. <laughs> we had 18. We might find some more too. <laughs> Peaches, you help me. You help me plant these seeds, Peaches. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I found when I ask her to do things and I ask her real nice, uh -huh. I get some movement. Oh, I see that. Peach. Oh, goodness. I don't know who's prettier, you or the flowers right there. I don't know. Huh? I know. <laughs> I know who's for you. How had rain is not blooming yet. They're going to be blooming, though. Ain't that right, Tommy? Before we go inside and plant our seeds for the spring and summer, or the ones I'm going to start in seed trays, let me show y'all what's going on with the garden. It's, uh... It's pretty bad. We had the uh, on record the most rain ever in February for our state, which is Alabama. So since they've been keeping records or weather records, this is the most rain ever. Then I think January was the second most rain ever. So it has been really, 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 really wet. My garden is really wet. There's not much I can do about it. I don't know if my elephant garlic's gonna make it. I pulled up some carrots the other day. Matter of fact, yesterday, or day before yesterday, and we've had about two or three days of sunshine, and I pulled the carrots up, and they were completely saturated. But I was impressed with my carrots. As bad as it's been, and I haven't been able to baby these guys like I wanted to, um, they, were, they, were, they were on the smaller size. We'll pull one up. And you can see we have about two or three days of solid sun, and that one's soaking wet. Um, that one's the same way. But you can see how wet it is. And this is sandy loam soil. That's what my soil is. It's just, uh, it's just a mess right now. I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. So it is what it is. I doubt. I mean, you see how wet it is. I mean, it is soaking wet. I don't think my potatoes are going to be planted this year. I just don't think so. Or I may get a container and try growing them in the container. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. But right now, let's go plant some seeds and I'll let McCrow eat some carrots. And you guys heard me say it before. Homegrown carrots. A very different flavor profile than the ones you buy in a store. It's just a, I mean, it's got the carrot flavor, but I just can't explain it. All I can tell you is kind of like a tomato. The difference between a homegrown tomato versus the one you buy in the store. I mean, these carrots are awesome. And they're all different. Like this yellow one, it's got a, a different undertone. Kind of, I don't, if I say a melon, that's y'all going to think that it's like a, like a cantaloupe or something. But it's not quite it, but it's something there that's totally different. And I found these these burgundy ones like this now this is not a cosmic purple the cosmic purple has got a spicy kick to it these burgundy ones we got from Hoss have a very very sweet profile to it so it's so good they're good those are so sweet right there wow it's just because they're homegrown they ain't the ones you get in the grocery store they're totally different these almost got like a lemony melon taste flavor to mm -hmm. it. It's uh, so different. Y'all can see Bear and Foxy sitting side by side patrolling. They on patrol. We are about to start some of our summer crops or spring crops which basically right now is tomatoes and okra. And what we're growing this year are especially my two most favorite tomatoes for tomato sandwiches tomato anything a big slicer this Bellarosa tomato I'm telling you guys hands down the best tomato I've ever grown and it is a hybrid but it tastes as good if not better than any heirloom out there and what's great about it is it is a hybrid, so it's going to be disease resistant. It's going to be drought resistant. It's going to be blossom end rot. I mean, it's got all those characteristics of a great hybrid, but it has got the flavor or better flavor than an heirloom tomato. 
this tomato is awesome and that's one thing about hybrids is a lot of times they get a bad rap because there are some hybrids out there that taste like cardboard i'm telling you if you grow this Bellarosa tomato, you will not be disappointed at all. And right now, with Hoss Tools, with any seed order, any order period, if you use, and I got a link down below, if you use promo code COGHEEL, you'll get, uh oh. If you use promo code COGHEEL, you will get a free pack of these tomato seeds, the Bellarosa, and they're pelleted, which is even more awesome. My next favorite is the Sun Gold. This tomato is crazy good. It's a cherry tomato. I'll eat them like candy. And these things produce like crazy, nonstop. I had pulled my garden up completely, just quit fooling with it for the most part. There's one thing that's still kicking in this garden, and that is these sun gold tomatoes. I mean, these son of a guns here. They don't stop and won't stop. And they are so freaking good. So I'm happy they're not finished. I left these up. Just was just going to let them die on the vine. And they didn't. No watering. No nothing. These things kept producing like crazy. And... They got a really high sugar content, or at least they do to me, and they're awesome flavor. Sun goes. These two are my two favorite tomatoes, hands down, period. Got two new ones we're going to try this year. It is the red snapper tomato, which is going to be another slicer. And we got a paste style or a cannon style tomato this year. And this one's new, a Takachi tomato. It's going to look a lot like your Roma. But this is a new hybrid. It's got great flavor. Definitely stoked about this one. Those are the tomatoes we're going to grow this year. You know, I'm not the one kind of person that grows like 400 different varieties. You know, I'll try, you know, a couple new ones every now and then. But I know what works for me. Okra. Now, a lot of y'all probably aren't from the South. Don't know about okra. Heard of okra. Never tasted okra. Okra is fabulous. We love it. We got several ways we prepare it. The most common way is your typical fried okra, but we like it even baked or roasted. Just olive oil, salt and pepper, cut the ends off, put it on a cookie sheet, pop it in the oven. Or another way we like to cook it is uh, my good friend, Chef, Chef Scott Peacock. He's got a recipe called Okra Pancakes. I made a video about that. It's like one of my first videos ever. So I'll put a link to that video down below if y'all want to check okra pancakes out. If you don't know what okra tastes like, I, sh I can't explain it. It tastes like okra. I mean, it's it's a really mild flavor vegetable. It's used in a lot of Cajun recipes and just a really big staple here in the South. I mean, here's the thing about okra. Okra loves super hot soil, much like a pepper almost. If your soil's kind of cool, this okra is not going to germinate or it's going to germinate late. So this year, jambalaya again, which is a great okra, great flavor, very, very prolific, but it doesn't get extremely tall, say like a Clemson spineless does. Two new ones I've never grown. That is going to be the Star David, and it's going to be a red burgundy. Now I've grown Alabama red okra here. Fairly good success with Alabama Red, so I'm stoked about the red burgundy okra. How I'm gonna do it, I've already put my soil, my seed start mix. I used Pro Mix. There's a million different seed starting mixes out there, but you wanna get a really good seed starting mix. I pre moistened the soil. I'm trying to get better at that. A lot of times I don't do that because I get in a hurry, but I pre moisten the soil. And all I'm gonna do is, is put the seeds down in there, cover them up, and they'll be ready to roll. So there are a few seeds that I'm going to start by direct seeding them. And that will be my new favorite pole bean, the rattlesnake pole bean. Love these things. Prolific ton of beans. And they are super delicious snap beans. Got three squash this year. Gold prize. This is your common yellow squash, yellow summer squash that most people are used to. This thing's great. 
Again, prolific. Love this squash. Got a new patty pan this year I'm gonna try to grow. Sunburst, stoked about this one. We had a wonderful harvest of butternut squash last year, but it took up a lot of space. As you know, my garden is kind of small, and if things don't kind of work out, as we just, as I just said earlier, I may not be able to expand it in time to get it planted. It's just been crazy weather this year. So Travis sent me these, these spaghetti squash for a winter squash this year. It is small wonder spaghetti squash. He says these things grow great on a trellis. So this I'm stoked about. Plus we love spaghetti squash. Oh, and I'm growing, I couldn't find the package, but I'm growing lemon cucumbers. Again, this is something else we've grown pickling cucumbers in the past we got so many pickles that we don't need a pickling cucumber this year so this year we're just going to plant a really good flavorful slicer the lemon cucumber is one of those they're just a great cucumber to eat and again they're super prolific and very easy to grow and they look cool now if you keep up with my channel you know how how passionate i am about starting seeds inside your house with led shop lights these are cheap 19.99 LED shop lights from Walmart, but there's two things that you got to know is you want daylights the color you're looking for and you want at least 2500 lumens the more lumens the better but at least 2500 LED shop lights these will start your ceilings once your ceiling comes up you want to put these LED shop lights above them and you want to get as close as you can to the ceiling and as they get taller I take books and I just stack books up and raise the LED shop lights up and this will start seeds in your house. So that is what we're doing in our garden this year and I'm sure I'll add some more stuff and fingers crossed that it dries out enough that we can get that topsoil brought in and make the garden expansion finally happen here on Cog Hill. Hey guys, if you don't see any of our garden videos, I'll put a whole entire playlist of our garden videos right over here. If you're new to the channel, like what you see, hit that subscribe button right over here. And if you're interested in any Cog Hill farm gear like our hats or our shirts, check out that link right down below me. And as always, y'all be good.